So in this video, we're going to talk about decrease in both demand and supply. And it's pretty much the same concept as increase in both demand and supply. That is, when we have this, the quantity, it, the equilibrium quantity decreases rather than increases. Because say we're at this original equilibrium position, a decrease in demand would lead to this original demand curve to fall down to this new demand curve. There's a leftward shift and it brings our price down to this uh, price that is lower than our original equilibrium price. But when we decrease supply, that actually raises our equilibrium price and it raises it back to uh, our original equilibrium price. But overall, the quantity supply, supplied actually decreases. And the equilibrium price, how it changes, really depends on the numbers that we're given. So if uh, you get a question on a test that tests decrease both demand and supply and ask how much, uh, how, how, how much did the price change uh, with given, uh, without given any numbers, you'd say you're uncertain because if demand decreases more, then of course your equilibrium price would decrease. But if your supply decreased more, then of course your equilibrium price would increase. So it really depends on what numbers you're given to actually calculate how the price change when there's a decrease in both demand and supply. But enough about that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a decrease in demand and an increase in supply. And the thing is, this graph seems might seem really confusing, but it's really not. A decrease in demand. So a decrease in demand, so we, we have this demand, a decrease in demand would lower our demand curve. So it, when we lower our demand curve, what happens is our price gets lowered. This is, a, this is the decrease in demand, demand decrease. This decrease in demand causes the price to lower, and it also causes, when the price lowers, it also causes the quantity to lower, so the quantity lowers as well and an increase in supply so our supply increases supply increases what this cause is that we take this new blue line our supply curve and move it to this new line so what it actually did is that it further lowered our price the price is further lowered and it increased our quantity so now we're in a situation that is completely opposite of what we were actually doing before with increase in both demand and supply or decrease in both demand and supply. Uh, it's kind of weird like that. So now that demand decreases, we have price decreases and quantity decreases and supply increases, price decreases and quantity increases. Now if we combine these two, so let's combine these two and find out what actually happens. What actually happens is we both have, in both situations, the band decrease in demand, increase in supply, we have both our prices falling. So overall, price falls. But how about Q? Our equilibrium price falls, but how about our equilibrium quantity? Now, the change in our equilibrium quantity is uncertain, much for the same reason as we had uncertain price. And that is because we are uncertain Decreases man increases, but yeah, the change in equilibrium quantity is uh, the change in equilibrium quantity is uncertain because the decrease in demand, the decrease in demand, the demand decrease, the demand decreases. If the demand decreases more, so if our demand decreases more, then our quantity is our equilibrium, our quantity, equilibrium quantity is decreased overall but if our supply or our supply increases if our supply increases then of course our quantity supplied quantity supplied uh, overall our qu equilibrium quantity increases and yeah we really need the numbers to actually uh, to actually give us an accurate uh, an accurate answer to whether the equilibrium quantity increased or decreased. So for equilibrium quantity and decrease in demand and increase in supply, it is uncertain. And I feel like our time is running out. So I will continue this in the third part of the video and we will finish with 